Happy 100 days, BCB Live. Drive safe, Dave. We've done it. The listeners, the folks watching BCB Live, we have hit 100 days of driving safe. That is an equivalent of a little more than 10 million miles drive safe, Dave. Pretty daggum cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, it shows what everybody can do, working hard, getting it done. If you're not excited about 100, you're not excited about the right thing because today is the day we celebrate on Thankful Thursday. We have an opportunity to celebrate success by what's being done out there on the road. Bam! I just had to say that. I wanted to say that. Bam! The technology, right? Technology and backing up and all of that. And, and let's face it, today the best technology when you're going to back up, is to get out and look. I agree. It's these two things right here. It's these two right here walking back there and using both of them to see exactly what you can't see, what you don't know. You're not going to drive down the road like this. You're not going to go down there. You're not going to pull the truck <laughs> forward with your eyes closed. Yesterday came down that big verdict. We knew it was on its way. We didn't know what was going to happen. Five days of deliberation comes back with a billion-dollar verdict um, in the in the the killing of a 17 year old college freshman from a from a two different trucking companies yeah I mean we're talking uh, it's tragic the story's tragic anyway I mean the entire thing is tragic um, just just what's going on and, and, and here's another one of examples of how important being safe is out there on the road and doing the right thing and here we are at a hundred days t celebrating it I think they kind of tie in together and showing what we can do and what we can overcome right? Because we can talk about all the people we didn't meet, all the people we didn't see, and all the people, and here's my favorite part, all the people we saved. Yes, can, you, can you imagine that? I mean, imagine the number of people that we actually saved in those 100 days. Yeah, 100 days, it, it, it really is a phenomenal streak. First, we have a little thank you from a good friend of BCB Lives. Hey, producer, show it to him. All right, this is it, the ultimate celebration. All you safe truckers out there, Uncle Ted is here to celebrate, along with your incredible warrior of the highway safety record on BCB Live. The Nugent family and all Americans thank you, because without you safe truckers, there would be no American dream. You guys are the warriors in the arena. You are in the swirling dust of working hard, playing hard, work ethic every day. And for a 100 days of driving without an accident, over 300 trucks, make that 301 trucks. I got a Ford Bronco that I've been driving for about 65 years with a safety record like you guys. So God bless you. Everybody salutes you. Keep it safe. And remember, you are the American dream. Thank you guys. Thanks for your trucking and thanks for being safe truckers. God bless the quality of life American dream highway haulers of America. Congratulations, guys. We really do salute you. We are blood brothers of productivity. God bless. Godspeed. Keep it safe. And thanks for inviting the Nugent family in on you to celebrate with you. We appreciate you guys. Keep that spirit and attitude on fire. Cat scratch fever! Da -da -da. Cat scratch fever! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Woo! A little <laughs> bit of Teddy saying, Uncle Ted saying, Thank you wow. to the truckers out there for wow. BCB Live. We're going to be back with some more safety. Before we do that, we have one more thank you from another pretty big guy. If you're a wrestling fan, hey, you're going to enjoy this. Oh, hey, folks. I'm WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan from the golden age of wrestling. <laughs> but I hope you all know that being wrestling, folks. Anyway, I have a special message for BCB Live. Yeah, it's coming from Rick and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So everybody might, might want to take a chair because, you know, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I'm going to have to give this to you straight. Rick and me have one thing we want to tell everybody, and that's... Ho! 
and congratulations, man. <laughs> I understand that truck drivers, uh, heroes, have gone 100 days accident-free. You know, you guys are really are the true heroes and have run over 10 million miles accident-free. 10 million miles. That's amazing, man. Accident-free. Remember, guys and girls, avoid distractions and just thanks very much for being American heroes. I know out there on the road there's a lot of distractions like professional wrestling, but you guys and girls, you people are the heroes. So thank you very much, BCB. Congratulations on 100 days accident-free and this hose for you. Ho! Let's go another 10 million miles. Go get them. Thanks, Hacksaw, for coming in and swinging the two by four and knocking another one out of the park. Yes, except yep. no baseball, though. He's no a baseball. But I get same it. thing. We get what you're saying on that. Drive safe. I want to bring it back. Okay, I want to t- bring it back to that accident we that happened in Florida. Okay. You know, the fatality that killed a young man on that. Um, what we've got to realize, and, and when we're talking to you know our listeners, and right now. You know, that, that's, that's primarily the drivers out there. Listen, you're under a microscope. I mean, we're looking, when, when things happen, those plaintiff attorneys, they're going back to everything you've done. Did you take your 30-minute break four days ago? Because, listen, if you didn't take your 30-minute break, there's a good chance that you wouldn't have been where you were that got into that accident. That, that's where they go with this. You got into an accident. But had you have done your job seven days ago, six days ago, had you have stopped, had you have done your pre-trip, you know what, that 15 minutes, you didn't have to find something wrong, but that 10 or 15 minutes that if you would have done your pre-trip, that would have kept you from being where you were today, seven days from that day. Does that make sense to you? That they're going to go back and look at everything. They have that ability. They're going to look, they're going to, they're going to download your, the black box in the truck. They're going to see what you're doing. If, you, if, if they pull over, they're going to pull your records on your phone. And if you're watching TV while you're driving, they'll know it. they're going to know it. If you're watching BCB Live right now and you're driving, don't. You can't watch it. Hook it to your Bluetooth. Listen to it on the radio station. YouTube, watch it later. So many things that you can do. But I want to make sure you know that and you're hearing what I'm saying is that my God, if something small happens, they're going to go back on your history and see what you were doing. As a trucking company, if you're watching this show, listen to me on this. If you hire somebody that has a bad um, history, history of, of unsafe driving, right? Correct, yeah. A history of following too close, a history of lane change violations. Well, why did you hire this person? That's what they're going to ask. And I'm going to ask the same thing. If you're a driver right now, do you not realize that right now, the safer you are, the cleaner your record is, the more you're valuable you are. You're more valuable today in drive safe. We've been talking about that for years, that your value really is the safe, how safe you are. And for the first time, you're getting paid for that for many places across this country. Right now, your value isn't drive safe, Dave. I can run 8,000 miles a week. That's not valuable. What's valuable is when we pull that background up, when we see how many jobs you have, when we see that you don't have any accidents, you don't have any speeds, your record is clear. That, my friend, is value. Yeah, you, you, and you can, you can relate that quickly and easily. Like, just think of a doctor. You want a doctor that, doesn't, that, that, that has a lot of lawsuits on them, that, that goes over time and time again and, and hurts people and doesn't. That's not the doctor that you want. You do your research and you find out a good doctor, right? The same way with a driver. The professional out there on the road, the one with the license that knows what they're doing, they want to find the real value. And the real value are those safe driving miles. Drive safe, Dave. What do you see here that this kind of is really makes everything difficult? Well, number one, what I see is going on here. You've got the multi, you're in a big metropolitan area, obviously, because you've got these huge uh, passes with multi lanes. So you're in a big congestion area. And then you have construction cones going on everywhere. So you know that the lane's starting to be restricted in all sides. But I'll tell you right here, people are merging, people are moving around. I don't see very many turn indicators, or I can't see them very well going on right here. So people aren't communicating well. But here we are, we're coming up on this trailer. 
and we, we've got to move over. But look at the lines on the road. They make it difficult to tell where to be and where to go. That's what I was wanting to get at. You know, folks, you got the sun. You've got um, when they peel these um, stripes off, the, uh, you know, they etch, the, the mark is still there where they were etched into the uh, and, and made a dark spot. And then you've got the other ones. Man, this would be really difficult at night. But you got to just make sure that, hey, that's another situational awareness in this construction zone is, yeah, these lanes go all over. I didn't know which lane was what there at right here, right? Mm -hmm. You got dashes running down the middle of a lane and the old ones, and it gets kind of hard. So it's just one of those things I wanted to point out about the situational awareness in these construction zones. Great job by this driver, by the way. I mean, look at that speed and space. Just outstanding. It, again, great. This driver out there is using the speed and space. Look at all the space they have. And you're going to see what happens there. All of a sudden, there's debris all over the highway, and the driver's able to react to it uh, and not cause anything. And then, you know, the one thing that stood out there since I watched that video, look at that car tailgating that truck up there. You know, it jumped out of the middle lane there, and it's just tailgating. In fact, I thought he was going to pass, uh, the, try to pass the truck on the yellow for a while. There. You know, what, what's, what's really nice about this, and as you, as you drive and you, you see this, when you have this much distance between you and the vehicle in front of you, then it's easy to catch things like debris in the road and move around it. If you are very close and you don't have that big picture that we talk about, that, that vision, that far out, and being able to react accordingly, notice as the driver, you can see the little wiggle that the passenger car behind that truck does, and then that gets your attention to say, what's, why is he doing that? And as you close in, you can see that it's debris, and you're able to avoid the same debris. You would not be able to do that if you were close behind another truck or close behind it buying traffic. You're just going to run over it. So here's one. Okay, here's the one that was there. But, again, not don't, so don't safe. Don't do it. Don't. don't stop. No. You, you no, see. no, no. Yep. I mean, it, it was a double air, It's a double yellow line drive right. safe, Dave. And you cannot see what's around that curve. The trees are blocked. Your vision's blocked. And they, yes. You don't bad, do that. bad decision. I mean, was it worth it? And I always go back to this right here. When I see things like this, when, when, when there's actions involved in ice or rain and we didn't stop, was it worth it? Was it worth that chance? Or what if you would have hit somebody? Was it worth that, that 18 seconds that you gained right there? Was yeah. it worth it? Wait a minute. Just wait it out. Mm -hmm. If you believe in safety, you have to just stop for a second, breathe, relax, let it happen, and mm -hmm. then just go when it's your turn. 